Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to SSH on your iPhone or iPod Touch to Windows Vista or XP. I will be running Windows Vista, but uh, the same should apply for Windows XP. So uh, let's get started here. First, open up Cydia. I'm assuming you all know how to do that. Uh, and uh, this requires a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch. So once you're in Cydia, go to search and then type in S. S H and then I uh, I want you to scroll down until you get to the O's and go to this one right here open S S H and then click on it and then install I'm sure you all know how to install Cydia applications so once you've done that you need to install one more thing toggle S S H right there and do the same exact thing now what you're going to do is you're going to set your iPhone to the side for a second and open up your internet browser. Go to this website, the one that I've provided for you, and then click this right here to download it. And then once you've done that and it's installed successfully, go back to your iPhone. A second here. Go back to your iPhone and then find the little pufferfish logo, which should be the SSH application that you installed. One second. And it says toggle SSHF right there. It's the pufferfish. Click on it. And then click enable. Now, once you've done that, go back to your home screen. And then launch. Win S C P, which is the program that you just downloaded for your computer. And wait for it to load up. And then once you've come this far, go to New. And then to find the host name, you're going to go back to your iPhone or iPod Touch and go to Settings. And then once you've gone to Settings, Go to the Wi-Fi tab, and your network should have a check mark by it. Once you've come this far, click this blue arrow right here, right there, on your iPhone, and then it should give you the IP address. It should say IP address, and then have numbers with dots in between them and whatnot, and then put that right here, and then for the username, it's root, all lowercase, R O O T and then for the password it's the or it's all lowercase again and it's A L P I N E which spells Alpine. Now I already have mine created and I don't want you guys to see my IP address so uh, ignore this part. I'm gonna close it right here for a second and then open it back up. And then once you've uh, done that, click save and then log in. Now, right here, uh, it'll say it can't do anything or an error before it asks you to enter the password. So uh, just wait five seconds from when you logged in, like one, two, three, four, five. And then after that, exit out of it right here and then open it back up again and then try it again. It might not work the second time, but uh, keep doing it until it works and eventually it will work. And then for the password, it's Alpine again, A-L-P-I-N-E, and then enter. And then here it is. Here's every single folder on your iPhone that you can access uh, from your computer. And here are all your computer files. And you can drag and drop them. And uh, it's really cool. It allows you to get uh, certain things on your iPhone that you wouldn't normally be able to get. Like, for example, uh, see up here this carrier thing? Instead of AT&T, it has uh, the Element logo. And, uh, for example, if I hold the power button to turn it off, it'll have a Volcom slider and say, really, you know, with the question mark, exclamation, question mark, exclamation, question mark. And uh, I'll be showing you how to do that in another tutorial. But uh, that's it for now. If you have any questions, just PM me. Don't leave a comment. Uh, save uh, the questions for PMing unless you want another user to answer you. Uh, so that's it, guys. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed my video. And uh, subscribe.